what up this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV and entertainment and here's my review of Netflix new limited series Midnight Mass. Hey before you watch my review please subscribe to my channel press that like button and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up I would like to say thank you to Netflix for granting me the screeners to this entire new limited show. They've asked me to not spill spoilers, therefore this review is spoiler free. I repeat, there are no spoilers in this video review. Damn, Mike Flanagan strikes again. The Haunting of Hill House was okay. The Haunting of Bly Manor was more dramatic than scary. And this one, boy, brace yourselves because Midnight Mass is bloody brilliant. It's challenging for me to talk about this show by tiptoeing around the details so as to not reveal too much. But I'll say this, Midnight Mass has an unbelievably masterful way of connecting the small town character study to its supernatural horror. What Mike Flanagan and his team of writers did here is a powerful examination of true genuine faith versus the perversion of religion. It's bone chilling. It's fearsome. It's intensely melancholic. And it's like this constant wrestle between belief in divinity and believe in each other. Midnight Mass is completely astounding. Created, written, and showrun and directed by Mike Flanagan, Midnight Mass tells the tale of a small, isolated island community whose existing divisions are amplified by the return of a disgraced young man and the arrival of a charismatic priest. When Father Paul's appearance on Crockett Island coincides with unexplained and seemingly miraculous events, a renewed religious fervor takes hold of the community. But do these miracles come at a price? Just like with any anthology show, Mike Flanagan keeps his key cast members close, including Henry Thomas, Annabeth Gish, and Raoul Coley. It's like basically rotating the same Rolodex, but the new additional faces are also the most spot-on casting choices for their respective roles. Zach Guilford, for instance, is very subdued as the young man riddled with guilt. And Hamish Linklater gives a career-defining performance. They're both part of a colorful ensemble cast of characters in this island town where everybody knows everybody's name and everybody gets on everybody's business. What I love the most about Midnight Mass are the long monologues. They would often go on this long stream of clarity where they share their sadness, their memories, their desires, their regrets, their pain. You would think that it might get boring, but you're wrong, it never does. It is within these moments, do we truly understand where they're coming from and why they hold the opinions that they do, be it good or bad. The scripts are precise and poignant, and the delivery is calm and therapeutic, you can't help but to sit there and just listen. The first few episodes, Flanagan is very measured in building up the mystery. The few episodes after that, once the entity kicks in, that's when the reasons behind all of it come into place. And then the last few episodes, well, shit hits the fan. Very well structured and very well staged. Gloomy and bleak. You can sense the desperation and the desolation of that town, which clearly had seen better days. Even though the horror factor is obvious, it's not necessarily the main objective of the entire theme. As I said earlier, Midnight Mass offers an examination of faith versus the perversion of faith or the perversion of religion and that does not get encapsulated more perfectly than through the town's self-righteous hypocrite Beth Keen who represents Christians that cherry pick and choose whichever Bible verse that conveniently suits them. Every other character on this show also tries to rationalize and justify their actions, but some have more discernible moral compass than others. I think I've said all that I needed to say without spilling spoilers, but I'll end on this. Midnight Mass is so well written, 
It should be an academic case in social studies classes everywhere. Don't expect this show to be some kind of relentless terror fest because it's not. Midnight Mass is a thinker and it dares to challenge your preconceived notions. So if you come at it with an open mind, you are in for a real treat.